Hi, my name is Andy Colbar and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Hello, and thank you for watching the Riedel Director How-To video series. IFBs are an important function to keep everyone informed and programming is simple with the IFB table in Director. Before we dive into programming, let's first discuss what an IFB is and how it can work for you. IFB, or Interruptible Foldback, is a monitoring or queuing system used in television, filmmaking, video production, and other forms of productions, which allow one-way communication from the director or assistant director to on-air talent or to a remote site. Two-way communication is possible as well with a talent microphone return feed into the intercom matrix. An IFB is often worn by the on-air person to receive cues, feedback, or other directions from the control room. The IFB is an intercom circuit that consists of a mix-minus feed sent to an earpiece worn by the talent. This mix-minus feed is typically a feed that includes a program or other audio sources with the exception of their personal source, hence the name mix-minus. This can also be interrupted and replaced by the producer or director's intercom microphone. The most common example of an IFB can be seen while watching your daily television news program. The producers can talk to the news anchor to tell them when they are live on air, give them breaking news stories, or give them new information related to the news story they are currently covering. Wired or wireless in-ear monitors, or IEMs, are typically used to carry the IFB audio to the on-air talent. Now that we have a better understanding of an IFB, let's discuss the audio pathways and program them into the IFB table into Director. We want to use a four-wire split on our AIO card and designate the inputs and outputs accordingly. Here you can see I've used four four-wire splits on my AIO card and assigned them to the following names. Port 1 is the mix minus input and output for IFB 1. Port 2 is the mix minus input and output for IFB 2. Port 3 is an input only for the talent microphone. As well as port 4 being an input only, we are not using the outputs on ports 3 or 4. There are three different ways to program IFBs in Director, but I will be demonstrating the recommended and easiest method, which is the IFB table. To view the IFB table, click the IFB button in the toolbar to open the table. Here we can see different columns and adjustable parameters of the IFB, such as the input, mix minus, output, and dim level. To add an IFB, we go to the Add button. The number next to it will indicate what number of IFB that we'll start at. Since we don't have any IFBs configured, we'll start with one. And we'll click the Add button repeatedly until we have more IFBs added to our table. As you can see, the number increases every time you hit Add. If you add too many IFBs, you can go ahead and select the ones by using the Shift key to delete multiples at one time. This will remove them from the configuration. Deleting an IFB from the table will remove it from any panels that the IFBs are associated with. We can change the name of the input, mix minus, and output tabs by right clicking and rename. I'm going to rename the input, talent input, and I'll rename my output, IFB output. We know from previous videos, there are many different ways to assign functions in Director. The easier and quickest method is to drag and drop. In the talent input tab, we'll drag and drop talent one to IFB one and we'll drag and drop talent 2 to IFB talent input 2. We can do the same with our mix minus and IFB outputs. Be sure to drag and drop the correct inputs and outputs to the corresponding IFB so the IFB gets the correct mix minus input and IFB output. To edit the key label, right click and edit key label to change the 8 character key that will show up on the display of your panel. Here I'm removing some of the zeros to make it a cleaner look. If you make any mistakes in your programming, you can select one of the IFBs and hit clear, which will clear all the inputs and outputs from the associated IFB. Our IFBs are now ready to be assigned to panels. To assign these keys to a panel, select the panel you wish to program from the network tree, so it shows up on the right side. In this case, we'll use the director. Now you can drag and drop from the name to any open key on the panel, which will automatically add the call to IFB function. 
If you are programming on a 1200 series panel, you can add a 16 character label to the key to differentiate which IFB you are calling to. Double click on the key to open the properties. Uncheck the box to find automatically and add the 16 character subtitle. I know that IFB1 is for our lead anchor, so I'll put lead anchor and click OK. On IFB2, I know this is for our remote reporter, so I'll uncheck the box and type in remote reporter. The 16 character label will now show up underneath their traditional 8 character label on the panel. IFBs are simple tools to use in your workflow and a great way to keep on-air talent informed of any changes that happen in real time. Always remember to merge any programming changes to your matrix by using the Save Merge option in the toolbar after you are finished making any programming changes. There are other ways to program IFBs, but this method is the quickest and easiest. Please share your thoughts and your workflow in the comments below and remember to subscribe to see new content in the future.